Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, and welcome to another Tears of the Kingdom video. Now for today's video, I have a bit of a treat for you guys, because there is a brand new duplication glitch. This one does not involve a bow, this one is much easier, and you can duplicate multiple items at the same time. So if you're sick and tired of doing the bow glitch, or if you just wanted a faster variation of a dupe glitch, don't worry, I've got you covered. But I do want to give a shout out to the YouTube channel Pi Ben. They only have 117 subscribers, and they were one of the first channels to post this duplication glitch. So I just wanted to give Pi Ben a quick shout out because I know how hard it is to grow on YouTube. And the shout out is the least I can do for posting such an amazing glitch. All right, so to do the duplication glitch, it's very easy. All you need is a shield. I like to go with a shield with a glider attached to the back of it. That just makes it a little bit easier. All right, so the next step is to go into your inventory and select whatever item it is that you want to duplicate and hold it in your hands. You want to hold as many as possible because you want to reach zero. So for example, I'm doing this with diamonds. I only had two diamonds. So I'm holding both diamonds in my hand and then I'm dropping them on the ground. Then I'm going to pick the diamonds back up. Then when I go back into my menu, the diamonds are now going to be at the very bottom of my inventory screen. To get this glitch to work, you have to have the item at the bottom of your inventory screen. And to do that, you have to completely drop all of the items on the ground and then pick them back up. So if you were going to do this with opal, I have 33 opal, I would have to drop all 33 opals on the ground. So technically you can do this if you have a lot of items already, but the process would take just a lot longer that way. But now that my diamonds are at the bottom of the inventory, what we want to do next is back out of the menu, pull out our shield with the ZL button, and then we want to do a shield jump like we're going to do a shield surfing maneuver. So to do this, we hit ZL, which brings out our shield, then we hit the X button and then the A button while we're in the air. So ZL, X, and then A, just like that. And then while we're in mid air, we want to pause the game. So block, jump, pause. So we pause the game right now and currently Link is in the background and he's in mid air. So now we want to select an item that we have one of. It has to be just anything that you have that you have one item of. It has to be just one item. So select one item, then you select the two diamonds, and then you just back out of the menu. Now these items fell onto the ground, but if I pick them back up, I had two diamonds. And then if I look in the inventory, now suddenly I have four diamonds. Isn't that awesome? So if I want to duplicate it again, then we pick up and hold all four diamonds, drop them on the ground, Pick them back up so that the diamonds are now at the very last slot in the menu. Then we want to shield jump, pause, hold one of this item, and then hold the remainder of the diamonds. So now I'm holding all four of my diamonds. Unpause, all the diamonds hit the ground, pick them back up. Now when I go back into the inventory, I should have eight diamonds. And look at that, I do have eight diamonds. So let's try it again. We will drop all of the diamonds. We have to go back in, drop the remainder, drop them on the ground, pick them all back up. So now I have eight diamonds in my inventory. You'll jump, pause, hold one of this item, hold four diamonds, unpause, so now when I pick up the diamonds, I should have 12 diamonds. And look right there, 12 diamonds. And this works with uh, anything. So here, let's try carrots. I have seven carrots. Let's hold the carrots. We will drop the carrots. Then we will drop the remaining two carrots. Okay, pick up all the carrots. So now the carrots are at the last slot. That's the most important part. Now we will shield jump, pause. Hold one item, hold as many carrots as we can carry, unpause, pick up the carrots, and I had seven to start with, and now I have 11, and it's as easy as that. So here I have some hearty radishes. These are extremely good. These are also pretty hard to get, so I'm going to hold this radish, drop it, pick it up. It's now in the last slot in my inventory. Shield jump. Hold, hold, drop, pick it up, 
And now I have two radishes. And then to speed up this process, hold, hold, drop, pick up. It's in the last spot. Jump, whoop. Go jump, pause, hold. And then when I go back into the menu, I should have four. And look right there, I have four. So it's as easy as that, guys. That's all you have to do. This is way faster and way more reliable than the bow glitch, and you can do multiple at the same time. So here I have seven large Zonai charges. Hold all seven of those. These are actually pretty important. So then I will drop the final two. Pick them all up. Now they're in the last slot. You'll jump. Hold, 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 hold. I think I had seven, and now I have 11. And boom, just like that. It's as easy as that. So yeah, super easy glitch. This is the best glitch in the game right now for duplicating multiple items at the same time. If this video helped you out and you guys enjoyed it, then please give this video a thumbs up. It's greatly appreciated and it helps me out in the algorithm. And if you're new here, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications. That way you guys don't miss out on any future Tears of the Kingdom videos. And that is going to do it for me, guys. And I will talk to you all in the next video.